My name is Moaz Masoud. I've been asked to offer a few words um, about this amazing initiative, Celebrate Mercy. And I think two basic ideas come to my mind. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Nahl, وَبِن نَجْمِهُمْ يَهْتَدُونَ that it is using stars that they are guided. And those are all signs from Allah. Allah has made these stars to guide people and have us navigate all around the earth. And it's interesting because in today's culture, we call famous people and people that people want to celebrate really, we call them celebrities. And that's one point we'll get to in a minute. But also we call them stars. And I mean, the star in essence is bright. It is so bright that its light reaches us here and we get to see it on earth. And, and that, that aspect of, 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 of being a star is present in all modern celebrities. They are famous, they do light. But then that light actually serves a function. And that function is to guide people. And what we miss the most in today's concept of uh, stardom is the idea of guidance. And if we're going to look at the idea of stardom and the idea of celebrating people who are celebrities, then the true star in that sense is Sayyidina Muhammad because he is the ultimate light and he is the ultimate guide and if we're going to celebrate a person the way this modern and postmodern culture has us celebrating people all the time we even call them celebrities then we had better be celebrating Sayyidina Muhammad and these are the ideas that came to me when I was told of this brilliant initiative and it's an honor to take part in it and I hope that Rasulullah knows how highly we think of him and how if he were to be physically with us in this world, we would all be crowding around him. You know, billions of people would be crowding around him because he is the ultimate light and the ultimate guide, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.